Hi, my name is Mike Ameriquin and I'm an admissions counselor for Baylor University. We're thrilled that you're interested in applying to Baylor, so we want to break down the application into a few simple steps. The first step is deciding which application deadline you want to apply by. Baylor offers an early decision, early action, and regular admission deadline. Early decision is a great option for students who know that they want to come to Baylor. Maybe it's your dream school or the only school that you're looking to apply to. This application is due on November 1st and is a binding contract, basically saying that if you are accepted, you will enroll into Baylor. However, if you're still making up your mind and deciding between a few schools, that's perfectly fine. You can still apply by our early action application. This application is still due on November 1st, but is not a binding contract. Finally, Baylor does offer a regular admission deadline due on February 1st. However, we normally recommend that students apply by one of our early action deadlines, as this is when we accept the majority of our students. Now that you've selected which application deadline you're shooting for, you'll need to select which application method you want to apply by. You can apply through the Common Application, Apply Texas, or through the Go Baylor online application. All three of these applications are completely free and can be found online. However, no matter which way you apply, you will still create a Go Baylor account. Now that you've created a Go Baylor account, you'll have access to the application checklist. This will show you exactly what you have to turn into us to have a complete admission file. We'll need your official high school transcript with a class rank on that transcript if you're coming from a ranking high school, the required essay, and your test scores from the SAT or ACT. We don't have a preference as to which scores you submit, so send us all your tests. We'll super score for you and throw out any scores that are lower than what we already have on file for you. If you're looking to receive any financial aid, you'll want to apply for the FAFSA and CSS profile. Students are always asking what they can do to make their application stand out. The answer to this is to complete all of your recommended items. This will be found within your GoBaylor account where you can submit a resume or a Zimi profile. A Zimi is sort of like an online interactive resume where you can upload pictures and videos, really showing us what you've been involved with throughout high school. You'll have access to upload the names of recommenders who you want to write letters of recommendation for you. You'll also have access to fill out the short answer question. This is where you can say why you want to come to Baylor and how you see yourself contributing once you get here. One thing to note is that this short answer question is required for students who apply early decision. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this answered some of your questions about the application, but if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to your admissions counselor. Thanks and sick'em bears.